I need to make a quick recording about this and get my predictions uh, on paper, on video, so that you can hear them before a day and a half from now. I'm going to try and make this brief. I'm not trying to be a drama monger. I simply see a bad pattern and I want to sound the alarm and say why I think the pattern is bad as early as I possibly can. You may remember when I accused PGI of Calvin Ball in regards to their community moderation in this video about six months ago. This was in reference to banning of this guy, Chaotic Harmony, and PGI kind of changed their story halfway through. They first claimed that Chaotic Harmony had expressed an intent to disrupt other people's experience in the game. That turned out to be very much not true. But even though that wasn't true, PGI still gave him a temporary four-day ban during a streamer hunt event for reasons that they never clarified why they did that. From what I've been able to tell from talking to people on various discords, people who play MWO a lot, people whose opinions I trust, all of them think that PGI's first temporary four-day ban of Chaotic Harmony had no basis, was the wrong thing to do, and everyone, as far as I can tell, disagrees with it. Now, after they were called out on that four-day ban, apparently, and this was new information to me that I didn't know when I made this video, apparently after that, Chaotic Harmony started being incredibly toxic for weeks on end, particularly towards PGI's game moderators or GMs. That eventually led to a permanent ban upon him. And then after that, we got some statements from Darren, the community manager, some of which you can see in this video, and I will drop this link in the description. Unfortunately, you can't hear all of Darren's statements because the VOD right here that contained a full record of Darren's statements has now been deleted. Now, there are plenty of reasons for a VOD to be deleted that aren't sinister or evil. For instance, sometimes Twitch will just delete old VODs because Twitch doesn't have unlimited storage space. Sometimes the person who made the VOD notices that there's copyrighted music playing in the background of the VOD and doesn't want their account to be DMCA'd. My point is, I don't think that this VOD going missing is necessarily an evil thing. I don't think people are trying to erase history. I'm just saying that there's a lot more that Darren said than what's in my video, and now you can't know what that is because the only record of it is gone. Anyway, here's the point. Even though this video focused on Darren and what Darren had to say about it, Darren was not the one who imposed either of the bans on Chaotic Harmony. The person who imposed both the unjustified original four-day temporary ban on Chaotic Harmony was GM Patience. And the one who imposed the other ban, possibly justified because he was being incredibly toxic for weeks on end, was also GM Patience. Let's fast forward to two days ago. There's a guy named Vigel. If you've played MWO for very long, you probably know him because he's the guy who types evening ladies into the chat at the beginning of every match. I always thought this was some kind of irony because the population of MWO is so tilted towards men. So I always thought he was making an ironic statement about the fact that MWO is all mech dads, including, of course, me. I am like the obvious mech dad, right? I don't fully understand what's going on, and we could spend all night debating about who believes what and what the actual truth really is. But let's just go to the person who gave him a temporary two-day ban and told him that he is not allowed to say evening ladies or type evening ladies into the all chat at the beginning of matches. No points for guessing which GM did this. If you need more time to read this, by all means, pause the video. I don't know for sure exactly what GM Patience is saying here, and we may need some more clarification. It sure looks to me, though, based on those first two lines right there in the message, that GM Patience is saying, one, even though you mean no offense, your message is offensive, and I am the final arbiter of what is offensive. Two, I believe that the second line in that message says that 
no one is allowed to specify any gender in any greeting anywhere in MWO. Personally, I think both of those conditions are absolutely insane. First of all, the assumption that it's offensive. Well, offensive is very subjective. And so something that offends one person might not offend another person. In fact, I suspect that for any statement, any at all, even just high, you could find someone somewhere who was offended by that. As for not being, as for no one ever anywhere in MWO ever being allowed to include any reference to gender in a greeting, if you think that's reasonable, then you can click away from this video right now and we have nothing to talk about. Somebody went to the MWO official forums and made a thread asking what was going on with this ban on Veagle. And then here's Gnome's post showing exactly what happened to that thread. You don't have permission to view this topic. So not only is Veagle banned for saying evening ladies, no discussion of this ban is allowed. In fact, I can't remember which Discord I saw it on, but I think I heard someone say that the other post in the official forums that ask, why was the post discussing Veagle's ban locked down was also locked down. So not only can you not discuss things, you can't even have meta discussions about things. And I think, again, it's time to say the obvious. If you believe that this kind of community moderation is reasonable, then please stop the video, unsubscribe from my channel if you're subscribed. You're probably not, there aren't very many subscribers, but if you are subscribed, please unsubscribe. We cannot be friends, okay? We cannot. There is a woman named Evelyn Beatrice Hall. She was a fan of a philosopher named Voltaire. And she wrote a phrase, Voltaire did not say this, Evelyn Beatrice Hall said this, as a sort of a summation of Voltaire's beliefs. I disapprove of what you say, but I will defend to the death your right to say it. I'm sure people are going to talk about the paradox of tolerance. The paradox of tolerance basically says you can't be tolerant without limit. There has to be a line drawn somewhere. I completely agree. The question is, where is that line drawn? And for me, there are several nuances of this that I can't go into because of time. If you really want to have a long discussion about the nuances of the paradox of tolerance, we can do that in comments. Go ahead at a comment. But I believe that Thomas Jefferson said it best when he said, let people stand undisturbed, let their bad statements stand undisturbed as monuments to the safety with which errors in opinion may be tolerated where reason is left free to combat it. In other words, if people say bad things, then they are showing you their true colors, and you should be free, feel free to tell them right back, you're a bag of dicks. And in my opinion, you can go quite beyond that by doing things like satirizing them and showing what the consequences of their beliefs would be if taken to the absurd extreme. Or, you know, you can just make jokes about them to show them what a bunch of big dicks they are. That's not what PGI is doing. PGI is a priori forbidding certain kinds of speech just because they don't like them and because they assume that there is some offense intended or maybe the fact that they are offended at all is good enough. That if anyone anywhere is offended by a certain kind of speech, that's a good enough reason to suspend someone's account probably permanently. Vigil is only on a two-day suspension right now, but if you read his statements in this thread on Reddit RMWO, I'll also drop a link to this in the description, you'll see that he has no intention of bending the knee to this arbitrary enforcement of arbitrary rules. Again, you may not agree with me, you may think what he's saying is offensive, and I think my question to you would be, do you believe that you have the right to never ever be offended by anything? And could you think about 
the kind of world that would arise if anything that ever offended anyone anywhere were completely destroyed or completely hidden. Let's name a real obvious case, one that is actually kind of germane to headlines in our modern era. What if conservatives were able to say, I find the notion of trans people completely offensive, and therefore we're just going to eliminate any reference, we're going to erase trans people, because I find that notion offensive. What kind of world would we live in? You're going to have to decide for yourself what my politics are. But suffice it to say, I believe that GM patience is entirely wrong. Also that the, I assume by GM patience, I assume the actions taken by GM patients on the forum are also insanely, ridiculously, stupidly heavy-handed and proof that PGI learned nothing from the debacle of chaotic harmony. Furthermore, let me explain what's going to happen to Vigil. Because we have the example of chaotic harmony to look back upon. We know how PGI is going to react. They'll react the exact same way they reacted before. Darren will come out with a screaming rant about how you don't have a constitutional right to play MWO. Literally, he actually said that. I don't know if it got caught on this Calvin Ball video, but I think it is caught here. Yeah, so Darren is going to rant off stupidly as usual. The rest of PGI, including the management, will absolutely refuse to tell GM patients to dial it back and that he's being a dick. Oh, incidentally, someone told me they are pretty sure that GM patients is female. I don't know. I just assume that everybody on the internet is a guy. That's not true anymore. It used to be when I first came onto the internet in 1992. My point is, I'm not saying he for GM patients because I'm trying to offend. I'm saying he because until I hear officially from GM patients or someone else officially at Piranha, I'm just going to default to he, his pronouns. That's how I roll. If that offends you, fine. So when Vigil refuses to bend the knee, which he will, he said so down in here in this stuff, GM patients will ban him permanently, not just the two-day temporary ban he's currently under. And the rest of PGI will look at the insanity of these statements that anything that offends anyone anywhere is an offense bad enough. If someone says, I'm offended anywhere, which as I think I, I hope you agree with me, that for any statement you can find someone who finds it offensive and is willing to say, oh, I'm totally offended by that. PGI is going to absolutely have GM patience's back on this one. They absolutely will, 100%. And they will absolutely do everything to back up GM patients. I don't know why. I think the rest of PGI is just as insane as GM patients is about this stuff. So that's my prediction. Any other discussion you want to have about this, that's fine by me. By all means, feel free to drop a comment down below. There's a lot more to say, I think. And I think every different person will have a different opinion about this. So if you want to tell me your opinion down in a comment, by all means, I encourage you to speak and tell me what you think. That's how I'm different from GM patients. I don't believe in censoring people. Even if I disagree with you, I want to know what your opinion is. Because as a liberal, oh shit, I just, I told you you had to make up your own mind. Instead of saying what I think I am, let me tell you about my values. Diversity is strength, okay? Having a diversity of opinion is an important thing. It shows tolerance, which is an important thing. And even the people that you dislike the most, you should allow them to have their right to free speech. Because it's just like Jefferson said, you show how strong and how resilient your culture is by tolerating people who say things that are stupid. Trump voters! Trump voters! Sorry. Okay, I'll go ahead and, and finish this off with the last thing. This is already clearly too long. I apologize for encouraging you to sit through my ranting bullshit. I'm sure you don't care. And if you already clicked away from the video, good for you. I'm glad that you decided to take back your own time instead of listening to me rant. The thing that galls me the most is not that GM Patients is using Calvin Ball rules to moderate MWO. The thing that pisses off me the most is 
I'm not allowed to specify a gender when I greet someone in the game. That is just insane censorship, period. So I'm going to be using a gendered greeting. It's not Vigil's gendered greeting. Vigil is Vigil and I'm me. I, in fact, am going to be using one stolen from a guy named Arduino versus Evil. Very entertaining guy. And at the beginning of his videos, he says, ladies, gentlemen, all of the above, none of the above. Today in this video, we have a special treat or treat a special. I'm going to be aping AVE's greeting and I'm going to make it a point to say it at the beginning of every match I'm in from now on. And not only does this refer to specific genders, it also refers to other genders that I'm not even specifying. Because as Vigel said up here, you miss the rest of the genders. There's also intersex, trans, non-conforming, personal, and eunuch. And I would argue that there are even more than this. But the point is, when GM Patient says you can't have references to gender in a greeting that you give at the beginning of an MWO match, I can't even tell you the level of insanity I believe is contained in that kind of thinking. I mean, it's bad enough to have the idea that if anyone anywhere is offended by something, therefore that thing needs to be canceled. Let's just go ahead and throw cancel culture in here, okay? I know you were all thinking it. I've been thinking it as I've been talking. But to go beyond that and even say, you are not even allowed to use gendered greetings, even if you're being super inclusive, which you should be. Yeah, that's insanity. And I am happy to die on this hill. More than happy. I know it won't change things at PGI. I know PGI is not going to wake the fuck up and smell their own asses burning. It's not going to happen. We know based on Darren's statements that he made in this video, we know based on everything that PGI has been doing for the last couple years, they are absolutely going to support GM patients in this one, and they are absolutely going to go full retard on the political correctness thing. So my account will definitely be banned sooner or later. I don't know when it's going to happen, but it will. Because I am going to gender my greetings. And I'm going to mention as many genders as I possibly can. Because this is fucking nuts. This is absolute insanity, and it is censorship. And yes, of course, as I said in this video here, yeah, absolutely, PGI can run their game however they want. It is their game, and they have a right to run it however they want. And if they want to have a code of conduct that is pure Calvin ball and means whatever GM patients wants it to mean at any particular moment, that's their right. It's their game. But players have choices too. And as I said here, I won't play Calvin ball. I refuse to be part of a community where the community moderation system is. The moderators get to make up whatever rules they want, whenever they want, for any reason or no reason, and ban anybody they want for any reason or no reason, because they say so. And that is the moderation system that you are seeing in action here. Pure Calvin Ball, the rules mean whatever GM Patience wants them to mean at any time. And that is a hill more than worth dying upon. Don't mistake me for someone who's afraid of the consequences of doing the right thing.